guys, it's Caroline Raven and uh, I am still in my bedroom in the same clothes as last week because I have to pre-record this because I'm going on a cruise because I'm awesome as you're seeing this. As you're seeing this, I actually already came home. <laughs> if you're watching this as it comes out, I will currently be... Oh, I'll be home. Okay. Not super exciting, but I will be right back here, probably over there on my bed. Uh, just, you know, can you Netflix and chill by yourself or is that just... Oh, you can. Self-love is good. It's really good. Anyways, so we are back with... We. is me and my egos. Let's just get right into it. I have not opened it yet, obviously. No, I have no idea what this is. It has been on my on my desk forever, and I just wanted to open it and see what it was all about. This is blue with silver. Do you see that? It's really, really cool. I'm not sure what the name is, but it, I think it is Invasion. What is that? Like a head or something? Like a spaceship thing? Uh, 2018 Terra and high quality playing cards, space, diamond cut. We have the back looks like this. Look at all that detail. It's really cool. It's a very nice soft box and this is embossed and it's really cool. On the other side we have this. Produced on the earth by the free human race, which is nice. On the other side it says high quality playing cards, Invasion. It has to be Invasion. I think it is Invasion, but it's Space Edition. Let's open this thing up. Oh wait, uh, on the bottom it says it is Sacramento. Can't really see. Maybe I need new glasses. Maybe I should actually wear my glasses. It's printed by the Expert Playing Card Company. Same as last week when we did Dapper Playing Cards. Red sticker, really, really nice with a lot of detail. The little skull inside. I always feel bad when I'm opening these decks up because I think that some people, let me know in the comment section below, by the way, if you are. I do believe that some people who are watching are actually a playing card collectors and I just open them up and I don't give a shit. <laughs> You know? Flap is gorgeous. Look at that. It's a really nice big flap and we have things going on on the inside here as well and that is Juan Tekken. Signs! And we have the signs in here and we have the flaps and the cards are wrapped on the inside. Hey Rao! I did it. Uh, oh yeah. Look at this! Caroline Raven got the opening! On a first try! Woohoo! So that happened. All right, so let's start with the back of the cards. Look at all of this detail. In the middle we have some sort of star and it kind of looks like it could be like a compass thing. The card is very nice blue greenish color. Uh, do not know what to call this color, but it's gorgeous. We have some skullish on the sides. I do not know if the cards are marked, but they might as well be and some sort of spaceship going on there. We also have a message called Alea Yakta Est, and on the other side it says the same thing, which is great. This deck is fully custom. As I'm going through it, it's a little strange. Let's start with the Jokers. They look like this. This is one of them. Really, really beautiful. And we have this one as well. I'm not sure which way to hold this. Probably like that. It's really cool. They kind of remind me of that game I was playing when I was a kid. I can't remember the name of the game, but it was on a computer where you're like pew 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 base ships down here and you were floating up like that and why am I doing this? Uh, and yeah, like other ships coming in and they were like pew 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 pew. Uh, and you were supposed to pew pew your way past them. And then there was a big boss and you had to like pew 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 pew. And if you didn't pew pew enough, then you would, you know, not play the next level. I'm looking through the cards right now and it is gorgeous. It is so cool. Not something that I would normally be super excited about. All the cards have been modified. So bear that in mind as we're looking through them. This is the Ace of Hearts. Look at this. I love the minimalism up here. It's gorgeous and we have the the symbol down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seven of hearts, I think. So they just fill these in depending on how many they are and we have the same thing going up here. So it's kind of hard to know which card it is, which is not awesome. This is the clubs, I think. This should probably be diamonds. Look at this, also really cool. The more I look through them though, I'm not sure that uh, this is awesome. Uh, this is the spades, also really cool. The aces in their faces. All right, so this is the ace of diamonds. I think this is really cool. You see that how it kind of floats out like that? It's like an explosion in a way. Here we have the ace of clubs, also really, really dope. Enough, my favorite, the ace. Uh, spades. Take a look at this. It's really cool. We have the name down here too that, that I can't pronounce. Also, all of the court cards has been changed. Okay, there are so many of them. So I'm just gonna go through them. They have all been custom made. Look at this. It's so glossy and so gorgeous. I'm just gonna go through them like this. Take a look at this queen. Wow. 
Wow, this is gorgeous. There's so many details going on in these. That's great. Oh, I almost skipped that one. Look at these. Well, oh, this one is my favorite so far. Isn't this cool? Oh, like a little geisha thing. Oh, this is cool too. Ooh. Nice. Oh, it kind of looks like uh, Barbosa. Pretty dope, isn't it? So let's take these cards out for a spin. Expert playing cards, quite stiff. Uh, not super easy for the fans, which is uh, unfortunate. And oh, yeah, same thing on this. And maybe it's because of the uh, the finish and the gloss and everything. But this is a completely new deck, so I am a little surprised that. But it's kind of easy to do the waterfall, which is nice. So it's not as stiff as many other expert cards are. I do think that they're beautiful though. Uh, but this. It's not great. The thing I like most about this is that they actually took the time to create something that is absolutely gorgeous when it comes to the artwork for the court cards. They went a little overboard for the number cards. Overall, I think it was a really cool project and it actually makes sense when it's so much art going into the same project like that. And I love the back of the box. The box is gorgeous. Something that I do not like is the fact that the paper stock made it very hard for me to right out of the box do fans and stuff like that. But I don't think this deck would be great for magic anyways because there are so many things that do not make sense like like if, if you were oh think of a card any card do you remember your card they are in fact different like the symbols are different so it would kind of be like a pattern uh it would kind of make sense to remember it but it's it's just too confusing in my opinion even though you have that in the center i would probably put the right number up there so people would know right away which card it is like in this fact like let's say the five of spades but lucky for you guys this is also part of my 52 week giveaway so uh i I'm not gonna keep it which is a shame because I actually thought it was pretty cool all right so this is a 24-hour giveaway contest and today should be the 20th of uh, September <laughs> yes September uh, meaning it's a 24-hour giveaway contest ending September 21st at 7 p.m. Viking time okay all you have to do to enter the giveaway contest is to comment something that you liked about this video in the comment section below but yeah that was it for this week's review I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys back in a week bye